the idea is it can only be done in certain circumstances. One of those circumstances that really affects marketing is with consent. And I can stop it and I can see it. And for most businesses, this was a big shock because we got used to, not that I was any good at it, but certainly marketing, you know, harvesting stuff through pixels and Google Analytics and tracking people across platforms and all the things that led us, rightly or wrongly, to Cambridge Analytics, um, all the fuss about how Google and Facebook handle our data. Because in reality, what was going on was I had no way of knowing that you were harvesting my data, no way of knowing what you were doing with it. And to that extent, the technology of marketing as a profession was way ahead of the understanding of ordinary people who were just clicking on an advertisement. And Europe was ahead of its time in saying this is wrong. We shouldn't be manipulating data that people know nothing about, not just in the marketing sphere, but in recruitment, automatic rejection of people. Uh, there were areas around child safety that were still working very actively in groups with today. It was a sea change. It was as important as the notion of consumer rights in its day. When I first got going in, in, in legal areas, generally in the late 70s, the big switch was consumers having rights. Before that, it was all customer beware. And GDPR is an equivalent switch. And it still confuses people because we like to think, I can do what I want. I've got the technology, so why shouldn't I use it? Is the typical marketing person's hat. The typical European regulator's hat is you shouldn't be doing that unless your customer knows. And in circumstances, consent. And there is some sense to it when you see where it's led us. You may want to know exactly what your customers are doing on the website, but you don't want everyone to know what you're doing tonight.